Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I appreciate you guys listening in. I thank you for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the compliments, all of these wonderful things. I appreciate you all being supporters. I really, really do. Um, You know, this week has been very interesting. I had not done a prophetic word in a while. Make sure you go back and check it out. Um, I think it was on Tuesday and it was called Cut the Fat. And, um, I think we did what, uh, promise. Oh, impatience, uh, got me, uh, made me miss my promise and, uh, stay ready. We had some real cool, interesting topics this week and last week too. Last week was Liddy. So for sure, check out all of them. Uh, we, we've been rolling all, uh, October and November cause I was on hiatus from May up until then. So please, please, please make sure you check it out. And again, for all my people who bought, the healing experience workbook. Trust me, you will get every episode. Trust me, everything I promise you, you will get. I'm working on getting all of them in bulk for you ASAP. And for those of you who have bought the book, you will be able to access all of them very soon. So, um, but today y'all real quick, you know, we're about to go into the weekend or whatever. And I wanted to, um, Mention this one word to you that that just dropped in my spirit and I felt it was important for me to talk about this with you guys because, you know, again, we are going into the weekend and, you know, you may have a little free time or whatever. The word is maintenance, right? You know, derivative of maintenance is maintain, maintaining, right? And it is very, very crucial that when it comes to self-maintenance, and maintaining who you are in your spirit, in your emotions, and your physical health. It is important that you put all of your energy into making sure you are balanced. Okay. There's a person who's listening to this right now. You've been saying you were going to go get the massage. Or you were saying that you were going to, you know, go on a retreat. Or you were going to treat yourself. Or you were going to, you know... Take the long, high bad. You never got around to it. You know, it is time for you to take some better self-care of yourself. Let me tell you why. I think throughout our lives, that's a very important thing to do because it shows that when you are more concerned about making sure when God gives you something to do, that you are in your right mind and you're well rested and you are able to, to serve and, 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 serve while you're waiting on things and you do that in excellence, you really set yourself apart. You really elevate who you are and you really elevate and next level yourself so that you can really see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And it's not just a scripture, right? I want you, if you are listening to me right now, look at what self maintenance you need to do this weekend, whatever that is. You have to learn how to maintain who you are. I know you have a lot going on. You may have a bunch of kids and a husband and a family and just a whole bunch of things to do. You know, you may be single. You may not have, you know, any kids or even a relationship. You may may just be on a grind and people may just hit you up to do stuff all the time. You're always helping other people. Some of you may be completely involved, you know, in church and doing those types of activities. Others of you, you may not be in church at all, but you may have multiple businesses or you have to travel for your job or whatever the case may be. Maintenance, maintaining who you are at the highest level, it's always going to give you an advantage. Many of you have been feeling like 
you know, you're getting depressed and things are not happening for you. But listen, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage because you're not taking care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. And listen, I'm preaching to the choir. I just said I'm going to go and get another checkup and just get a, um, what do you call it? A, what do you call a full body? Um, ah, y'all, I hate when I have these little brain farts. It's like I can't remember. Um, y'all probably like, what? Why is she saying this on here? Y'all, listen, it is what it is. I'm going to be myself. You are more than welcome to just, you know, delete it or keep it moving. I'm not even going to be mad. Y'all, honestly, I'm just at a place in my life where I just got to be myself. It's just that simple. I can't, I can't be somebody else. I have to practice what I preach. If I'm going to be authentic, then, and and if I'm going to say I'm authentic, I have to be that way. I'm just not a perfect person. I have a very interesting superior vernacular at times, riddled with Inoisms and Ebonics and the King's English. And this is just who your girl is. So, you know. If I know it, it, saying some stuff might be a little like Ugh, on the ears, but I'm working on it, you know, so forgive me. I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> went off on a little tangent like I do sometimes, but I wanted to say that, um, you know, like I say, it's preaching to the choir. You know, I wanted to get a physical. That's it. I wanted to get a physical and I, and just little things just to make sure I stay healthy and that, you know, if I feel something off, I want to get it checked out. Right. So I want you to think about the maintenance that you have to put on yourself this weekend. Be selfish when it comes to to, to maintaining who you are this weekend, this time. Focus on you. Now, if you happen to hear this on a random day, you might hear this on Monday. I just believe when we hear things and the timing of it is all divine. So I'm quite certain whenever you hear it, you will hear it when you're supposed to. And if it resonates with you, Remember this, 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 this very important thing. If you don't take care of yourself, no one else will. I don't care how much they love you. I don't care how much they care about you. They can take excellent care about you. But what if something happens to them? Who's going to take care of you then? It is much better for you to make sure you take care of yourself first. And anybody else who comes in after, that's just extra. That's just your extra blessing. But you should not, unless you're a child and you're being reared and, you know, you're, you're, the child has to be there until they're 18. Unless that's the case, no. You have to learn how to take better self-care. Stop being a doormat. Stop letting everybody run you through and they figure, you know, and I get that all the time from people. Sometimes it's people just don't even consider my time. They think, you know, I don't have a life because I don't have some of the same responsibilities that they have, but I do have responsibilities. And I think that no matter where you are in life, whether you're single, you're married, you have kids, no kids, you could have both or none, whatever the case may be, you still have to take care of yourself. You have to still make sure that your mind and your brain is working in a way that's going to get you to the highest level that God calls for you to be at. It's just that simple. It's not, it's not really up for negotiation, y'all. You want me to tell you why? Because When we think about the word of God, it's all through the Bible where God has our best interest. He talks repeatedly about how we ask. He talks repeatedly about the types of things that he will do for us. He talks about who we are, how we are royalty. I mean, it's just countless things that he does to confirm that we should be operating at the highest level. And and, and here's one of my favorites, y'all. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And because we know that there isn't anything that we can come up against and God can't fix it for us. There isn't anything that can happen and we're just at a loss. I mean, nah, we never have to take permanent L's. We just don't because he can fix it. So that's why I say to you, don't let anything come and try to guilt trip you into thinking that things have to be put to the side concerning yourself. Because you're just so overly concerned about dropping a ball for someone else or you're afraid God can't fix it. No, be decent and in order. If you read the book of Esther, they Esther had to get self-care for a year before they even presented her to the king. Because it wasn't just that she was going to be a good person and she can host dinners and she can make decisions and she was a warrior and she handled some stuff for her people. No, she still needed to be able to Look the part, be ready, 
be well rested, be at peace, have the characteristics of a queen. She has to do all of these things and such so that she can get the promise so that she could get the things that God had lined up for her. So it's no different than you. You might not be in that same position, but I tell you one thing, everybody has to go through a time consistently in their lives, at least multiple times consistently it should be factored into your day-to-day it should be factored into your week week to week and month to month and year to year decade to decade you have to factor in how you're going to take care of yourself so learn how to maintain learn how to do self-care and maintenance for yourself when you maintain and you do what you have to do for for yourself not only will you uh be living your best life And not only will you be putting yourself in a position to succeed because you are well rested, you are well cared for, and you didn't, it didn't take a third party for you to do that. You loved yourself enough to take care of yourself. It wasn't because somebody wore you out and now you don't have nothing. Now you had a brick and a note. Now you got to figure out how to take care of yourself. Don't let it come to that. Don't let it come to that. Decide now what it's going to be. Separate yourself from the outcome and say, okay, God, this is what it is. This is what I know. That I need to do, but you have control over the outcome. I'm going to do my part. I'm going to do self-maintenance. I'm going to take care of myself because I know when I take care of myself, I can take care of others. And because you want us to serve, you want us to help other people, I know that I will be in right standing with you. No longer let my, my tiredness and my inability to put energy on myself because I'm too busy trying to help other people. No longer let that be a problem for me. No longer let that be an Achilles heel for me. Let me be a balanced human. Let me be a balanced Christian. Let me be a balanced person who can take what it is that you're giving me and, and allowing me the opportunity to really take care of myself so that I can please you, I can make you happy, and I can get to the finish line of the race that you have me running. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.